First to 10, a yard sign battle. Tonight, one man says three political signs were stolen from his property. He says the signs may be inflammatory, but the thefts violate his freedom of speech. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini is live in Troy. Brianne, what's going on? Well, Glenda and Heather, the signs were stolen from a Troy yard. Police took the report. Then the man says there was also damage to his lawn and an anonymous letter on top of this theft. Here's the sign. It's an anti Hillary Clinton sign. Was your play on words? There were no curse words, but it was implied. Tom Moran and his wife posted the sign three different times, and three times it was stolen. The first time the sign was taken the day after it was posted. The next time the city said it wasn't properly located and it violated code after neighbors called city councilors. The third sign was relocated within the city code. 42 inches. I encased it in plexiglass, hung it from a steel cable. After that, dead spots started appearing on the lawn. An anonymous letter was sent to the Moran's address, and then the sign finally stolen again. The big issue I have with the whole thing is the attempts to shut down the right to free speech. Free speech to me is about content that you may not agree with. Moran said his wife also was verbally assaulted by a neighbor. I'm happy to debate any issue with anybody, but when you get to violence, and destruction of private property. He said that's where he draws the line, and while he understands the sign could be offensive to some, it is his right. The message was bold, and yes, we're very aware it was tacky, but that was the point. Now, Moran says he's not sure if he's going to hang a fourth sign in his yard. And coming up on 7 Action News at 11 over on Channel 7, I'll tell you who he's voting for and why it might surprise some people. Live in Troy, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, thanks, Brianne.